All right, I just want to do a quick follow-up video here to the Catholic hate crime video that I made. Um, basically, the guy there, Roy Maricondo, if you didn't see the first video, watch it for more detail, but there's a, a local man here, a radical, fanatic, Roman Catholic, and he was highly offended that uh, he found chick tracks, and this is a great hate crime and everything, and just ridiculous. And uh, there was an article, again, watch the other video, I'm not going to cover it uh, here, but there was an article in our local newspaper uh, about Roy Mary Kondo. Uh, my father actually wrote a letter, and his letter got through, and he received this little return letter here. There's no return address on it, but I'm going to show you. This is the one that Roy Mary Kondo, the radical fanatic uh, Catholic, he wrote this to King James Video Ministries um, uh, probably a year or more ago, and I'm going to show you his handwriting in this one, where it is definitely from him, and then I'm going to show you the handwriting in this one that he sent to my father, and I'll let you be the judge whether or not it's him that wrote both of them. And you're going to see why I'm making a video like this, just to show you the sick mentality. Uh, this guy's got some problems. So let me show you a little bit more detail here. All right, here we have the letter to King James Video Ministries. You can see it there. I'm not going to reveal his address. But here's the letter. Now, let me just start out. And uh, I'm open to anybody trying to decipher this. What is this? I have the address covered up there. I'm going to keep his, you know, private address secret here. I don't want that being out there. But does anybody out there know what this is? Okay. Um, I'm thinking maybe this is some kind of a Knights of Columbus thing, or I have no idea. But he has here, stay away from my front door. And he does this thing where one minute he'll print, and most of his, when he prints, most of the letters are capital, okay? But then when he writes cursative, they're lowercase. Kind of strange there. But uh, here's the letter. I'm not going to read it. Well, actually, yeah, I will. I might as well. It says, to whoever. True Christians, individual or otherwise, do not speak ill of other religions. Really? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Hmm. As a very proud Roman Catholic, I resent your negative, negativism, excuse me, towards the Roman Catholic Church, the one and only true church. And two, I have many a friend who are Jehovah's Witnesses and two who are Mormons. Well, uh, why don't you try to convert them? If this is the one and only true church, why isn't he trying to witness to his Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormon friends? Anyhow, it says, So I also resent you calling each religion a cult. Well, stupid, you just wrote the one and only true church. These are cults, according to Roman Catholicism. You see the mentality here, the, uh, the problem? He says, uh, read your Bible. Uh, well, <laughs> I do. Christ said, he who is not against us is in us. Or, I guess that's in there. I don't know. Uh, yeah, all right. Um, sure. And by the way, the Jehovah's Witnesses are against Jesus Christ. They say he's just a man. He was not God manifest in the flesh. And the Mormons teach there again that Jesus and Satan are brothers. So yeah, they are against us. And Catholicism, of course, is also another pagan system. He says, I am not against you and your beliefs, so please don't be against me and my Roman Catholic Church. <laughs> you just said that you're the one and only true church. So according to you, I'm going to hell. What a weirdo. It says, which was founded by St. Peter. Oh, really? I thought it was supposed to be founded by Jesus Christ. And not by, and not by a communist Protestant in Pennsylvania. So I don't know what that is. Is, that trying, is he trying to say that I'm a communist Protestant or something? I have no idea. 
As a Christian, you are a disgrace. So now I'm a Christian. So, okay. But check out that signature. Now, I did a little bit of research. I've done some research over the years into handwriting and the, and the way people write and sign things. And it is a well-established fact that when you see signatures like this, you are dealing with mental illness. Okay? Look at me, you know, like this. <laughs> it's amazing. Look at Adolf Hitler's signature sometime. Look at a lot of these people that are, that are nutty. Look at their signatures. Some very deep problems there. P.S. Don't reply and stay away from me. And I wrote back a nice letter saying, you know, being kind and loving and everything like that as a Christian. And it, he didn't even open it. He sent it back. So that's the letter there, the main letter that he sent to me a while back. Now I'm going to open up this other letter. Here's my father's uh, letter to the editor that they printed. It says, not newsworthy, April 25th Sunday News gave front page coverage to Roy Maricondo's feelings about gospel tract distribution, a very common practice here in Lancaster County and around the world. I can't imagine why this was ever considered newsworthy. newsworthy. The Constitution's First Amendment allows it. Because tracting may not be common in his former home of New York doesn't mean it's hate literature or illegal to distribute it here or anywhere else. He rudely attacks people who show concern for others by showing them what the Bible says. He also said, I got to worry about my own soul. Can we help you? Did you ever hear the expression, throw a rock into a pig pen and the one that get, gets hit always squeals? Most people given a tract, ask for help, throw it away when you're not looking or squeal. If throwing it away is your solution, then it's your eternal problem. God help you. Okay, this was written by my father. Okay, now here's the reply. There are two letters here. And you can see, very similar. But I'll, I'll read the letter first and then we'll discuss the other thing there. Evidently you have such hatred for Catholics. He didn't even mention that in here. Didn't even say the word Catholic, but says, uh, you did not comprehend Mr. Maricondo's complaint. He made no mention of being against receiving Bible tracts, but rather he had disdain for the anti-Catholic Bible tracts he received, such as the type you so readily endorse. You, sir, are an anti-Catholic bigot, which I can't make that out, what that word is. You not as, which makes you, okay, which makes you not a true Christian. <laughs> you know, you're a hate monger here and you're not a true Christian. I'm, you know, that's not hate somehow. Um, I have a hard time making this guy's writing out. I don't know what that says. Should Mr. Maricondo worry about your soul? Or it said, I guess maybe, I don't know what it says there. Uh, you're not. Hooray for Mr. Maricondo. All right, now here's the other note. I'll show this one quick. Mr. Denlinger, you are a disgrace to all good Christians. I am sure Mr. Maricondo is a far better man than you will ever be. <laughs> Perhaps it's because he has re raised, he was raised as a non-bigoted Roman Catholic. Of all the religions in the world, the Roman Catholic Church is the most bigoted. All right, study the thing. I mean, good night. But now look at the look at the handwriting here. All right. I mean looks the same to me. And see these two notes were in here. And you go up here. What do you think? Same person writing that or is this different? Notice how when printing, they're all capital letters. But when it's cursive, lowercase. But now I just want to make a point here. Here he says, I am sure Mr. Maricondo is a far better man than you are. Or than you, excuse me. Or you will ever be. Um, if this is Maricondo writing it, 
he's acting like he's not Mr. Mary Kondo. And here, here he says, hooray for Mr. Mary Kondo. So in other words, this radical nut is here pretending that he's not himself and he's promoting himself and patting himself hooray for Mr. Maricondo and it's him writing gone <laughs> off his rocker pray for this guy his name is Roy Maricondo alright he needs your prayer Pray that God will shake this guy up. Pray that he will read the tracks from Jack Chick and read the things that we, well, he said he threw them in the trash. Pray that this guy gets under conviction. 